Imagine I take out my wallet and empty its contents. And apparently I'm one of those weird people that has $2 bills on him. In any case, I shuffle the bills together and then put them out in a line just like this. We're going to now play a game where we take turns removing one of the end bills. You'll go first. With that first move, you'll have the option of taking this $5 bill or this $2 bill. If you were to say, take the $2 bill, then on my turn, I would have the option of taking this $5 bill or this $1 bill. We'll keep playing this game going back and forth, each taking either of the endpoints of the money until all of the money has been removed from the table. Whoever accumulates the most money through this process will win all of the money. Here's the puzzle. You're going first. Find a strategy that guarantees you a win. And if you think that's too easy, here's a harder one. Find a strategy that wins no matter how the bills are arranged. In some ways, that's a hint to the first question because it reveals that there is a general strategy to win this game that is not dependent on this specific ordering. Maybe keep that in mind as you work through this process on your own. And while you're thinking about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. Here's the solution. Start by taking the $2 bill. I know that seems weird because there's a $5 bill all the way on the left, and five last we all looked is larger than two, but bear with me for a moment. After you've taken the $2 bill, you'll then take from whatever side that I take from, and you'll repeat this process until all of the money has been grabbed. Let's take a look at how this works. Again, you're going to start off by taking the $2 bill over here. Then on my turn, I might think that the $5 bill looks more attractive than the $1 bill, so I'll grab that. Then on your turn, you are simply taking from whichever side I took from. So you're going to grab the $1 bill on the left here. On my turn, I might think to myself that there's a $10 bill right there, and I should grab it. So if I do that, the way that you follow up is again by taking from the same side. That would mean this $5 bill here. Perhaps on my turn, I decide to switch things up and grab the $1 bill on the end. And again, you will follow through by grabbing from the same side, thereby taking that $1 bill. On my turn, I might think to myself, I have a sweet $10 bill right there and I grab it. And you'll also grab the $1 bill from the right. Now on my turn, perhaps I realize that I don't want you to get that $20 bill. So instead of grabbing the five, I grab the two. You'll also grab from the left side and that $5 bill there. And you'll notice that now I am in a situation where I cannot get that $20 bill no matter what I do. So I might as well grab the $5 bill. You'll grab the 20 and I'll finish with this $1 bill. Totaling everything up, you have $35. I only have 34. Congratulations. You've won. Why does this work? It may help to see this rearranged in the following way. Notice that there are 14 bills in total here. I've put all of the odd numbered bills going from left to right a little bit lower and all of the even numbered bills going higher. And to be clear, when I'm saying odd or even, I'm not referring to the numbers that are on the bills. I'm talking about their ordering one through 14 in this line that I've put them in. When you go first, if you take the 14th bill there, the $2 bill all the way on the right, you will expose two odd numbered bills to me. The first bill all the way on the left, the $5 bill, and then the 13th bill all the way on the right, a $1 bill. From this position, regardless of whether I take the $5 bill or the $1 bill, I will expose an even bill to you. And if you take that even bill, you will leave me with two odd bills to choose from. Because I have to choose an odd one, I will expose an even one, which allows you to take an even one, and so forth, until all of the bills have been selected. This is just a fancy way to manipulate things to ensure that you get all of the even bills. 
And because all of the even bills sum up to $35 in total, and all of the odd bills sum up to $34 in total, that guarantees you the win. To generalize this winning strategy, no matter how I shuffle up the bills and lay them in a line, and in fact, as long as there are an even number of bills, no matter what the contents of my wallet are, you're gonna go through the following process. First, you'll total the value of all of the odd bills. Second, you'll total the value of all of the even bills. And then when you execute your strategy, if the odd numbered bills are larger in total, you'll take the first bill. That's an odd numbered bill. If on the other hand, the even bills in sum are larger, you'll take the last bill. That's an even bill. And then from there, you just grab whichever side your opponent chose from, because that will guarantee you either all of the odd ones or all of the even ones, depending upon what your first selection was. And that's how you win Moneyline. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.